Welcome back again to another episode of SCADA 123. Today we're going to be talking about positional servo motors. In this case we have an MG995. It's going to kind of give you a little simple three wire connection and that looks like that. This is fairly simple on its wiring. It's like I said it's a three wire so all you're going to see is basically this as your necessary wiring your pulse width modulation signal and your VCC and ground. Very simple, straightforward. Now, what you're going to use for your code is actually fairly simple as well. Most of this is straightforward. This is the code that you're going to get that comes with Arduino itself. This is the knob. Now, if you want to find the knob that's in there, you can just go to File, go to your examples, under your examples, Go to servo and you'll see knob. Pretty straightforward there. If you want to see what's in the code, you got a link right there that'll take you right to the website and you can see what the knob code itself as well as the hardware required in the wiring circuits look like. This is pretty straightforward. What it does is it takes an analog signal from a potentiometer right there You've got your VCC and your ground on each side, and you're wiring it right into the analog one input. Now that analog one input is going to basically give you your voltage from zero to five, which uses a position. And that position then gets fed back out, as you can see here, right into the little wiring there on the output channel nine on your digital output that gives your pulse width modulation circuit going in. Fairly simple, straightforward, all thoroughly documented. This is the base example for using a servo. So you should have it all straightforward, nothing fancy, nothing really complicated to do. Now, so we'll run the code. What you'll see here is basically this is your hardware. You'll see, like I said, channel 9 for your digital output to the servo. You'll have your little servo controller here. Little, little connector so you can see the angular rotation. You've got a potentiometer. That's a 10k potentiometer. And that's running right on in, as you can see, to your analog signal zero right here. As well as you can see, you have your VCC and your ground connected to both of them. So, since it's already loaded up, ready to go, you've got your positional sensor here. Let's basically just start turning the dial and see what happens. As you can see, as you adjust the dial, the position changes as well. Pretty nice, pretty straightforward. You get your full all the way to the right. Switch it back. Just all the way to the left. And you can pretty much hold it there. There's a little bit jittering and sticking. And you'll get used to it. Basically, that's just kind of your signals getting changed. So, there you go. Pretty simple, straightforward. That kind of rounds out our motors there. See you later. Bye-bye.